library today and just look how many girls are out here. I'm gonna go see if I can take a closer look at the situation. What's brought you here today? Oh, well, I heard that there was like this really cute and smart guy in the library. And, well, I need help with my English project. What about you? Why are you here? I need help with biology. I sure hope Parker can help. I need help with geography. What's brought you here today? I need help with my math. So why are you here today? I need help with my PE. What about you? I need help with Spanish. No, I want Espanol. Why are you here? I need help with help. And you, ma'am? I need a man. Oh, wait, I need a manual. <laughs> Sounds like these girls need their library. My English teacher told me to be sure and use the databases for my paper. Can you help me, Parker? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with our databases, you can find some really reliable information. Getting started with the databases is really easy. Just stop by the library and grab one of these bookmarks for directions. You get to our databases by going to the internet and typing www.tinyurl.com slash LISD bookmarks. You log in with your regular username and password. This brings you to a page called Secondary Bookmarks. If you look at the top of the list, the first one listed is our uh, card catalog. So you can get to the card catalog anywhere that you have an internet connected computer. Discovery Education is a database that allows you to use their videos, audios, encyclopedia articles, photos, clip art, and so forth for presentations. So anytime your teacher is asking you to find videos, you can um, find them here. This is a really good spot. You can obtain that login information from your librarian. The next portion here is where our Gale databases are located. These are our main databases. You'll find tons and tons of reliable information through these databases. The next one listed is Power Media Plus. This is another database where you can come and find videos, audios, books, music, photos, clip art. We have another one called worldandischool.com world book web which is the world book encyclopedia and then salem press which is a group of ebook resource materials if you keep going further down the um, screen you'll see two qr codes that say get the apps one of them is to get the app for the world book mobile encyclopedia for your smartphone and the other one is to get Gale databases for your smartphone. If we scroll back up to the top of the screen you'll see a link called HHS. If we click there it takes us to some additional resources that are for only Hebron High School or the Hebron Ninth Grade Center. To get into these we're going to click Gale Resources and then we'll come to a screen called Info Track. We'll type in the word Lone Star, that's one word, no capital letters, to get us into this area. On this screen, you see our Gale databases. As you can see, as I scroll down the page, there are many of these databases. These are highly reliable resources for your research. Sometimes a teacher will tell you a specific database to use, or maybe your librarian might suggest that you use a specific database. For example, if you were doing a research on a controversial issue, then we might suggest that you use Opposing Viewpoints in Context. It's a database that gives both sides of an issue. Down here towards the bottom, <clears throat> we see some databases that have to do with literature. So your teacher might suggest that you use Literature Resource Center as one of your resources. Also, if you come back up here to the top of the screen, if you click the box that says All Cross Searchable Products and type in your search terms such as Global Warming, 
then it will search all those databases at one time, the ones that have check marks beside them, not the ones that don't. When you do a power search, like I just showed, you'll get lots of um, results because you're searching many databases. If you look on the left-hand side of the screen, you can narrow your searches with these links on this side. If you only want to look at academic journals, you could click here, books here, news, images, etc. You can also limit your searches with these yellow boxes on top here. So as you can see, we have lots of databases for you to choose from. If you need more information on how to use them, you can ask your teacher or your librarian. Can you show me how to cite sources on a research project? Of course. Please. Oh. Hmm. Now what did Ms. Hall tell me about that? Whenever you are doing research, you need to give people credit whose ideas you are reading. And we do that on a page called the Works Cited page. It goes at the end of your project or paper that you're writing. This is how you would set one up. You go into Word, and the first thing you want to do is set your margins. So you're going to click Page Layout, and then Margins. You choose Normal, which puts an inch around, all the way around for your margins. Then you'll click Home. You'll click your Centering tab. You want to make sure that your font is either set to Times New Roman or Arial. You'll t your teacher will tell you which to use. And then you want to make sure it's size 12. And you want to write the title, Works, with an S, sided with a C, and then you push the Enter key. You'll push your left justify button. Over here under paragraph, there's an arrow. You will click there. Under special, you'll choose hanging. This is called a hanging indent, which makes the second line of your citation indent automatically. Line spacing is double. And then you click on OK. Right here is where you would either start typing your citations or copying and pasting them. Now, where do you find your citations? When you're doing academic research, it's very important that you cite your sources. We use a format called the Modern Language Association, or MLA. It's, this is fairly easy if you use some links that are on the internet. From the Secondary Bookmarks for Research page, you'll see a bibliography link on the left. Just click that. Here are some tools that you can use. We're going to talk about EasyBib first, so I'll click on EasyBib. And this is what the site looks like. You can pick whichever tab you want of uh, the source that you're citing. We're going to be doing a website, so I'm going to just paste in a URL for an article that I want to cite. And I click Cite This. And then I'll go down to the bottom and click Create Citation. This is my citation. So I will highlight the citation. Hold down Control C to copy. Go to my Works Cited page. Control V. And there is my citation. Another tool that you can use to create citations is the Citation Machine. We'll choose MLA because that is the format that we want to use. We're going to choose book for this example. And then we go, scroll down a little bit, and we just fill in the blanks. You need to make sure that you are typing in the words spelled correctly. Because if you don't, it will put them in the way you spell them. When you get to this section where it asks you for the addition. You may not be able to find this information, but if you do, you would type it in as first with one ST or second with two ND. Put the volume number in if that is available. All this information is usually found on the 
reverse side of the title page. But again, if you do not find it, you just leave that blank. Put in the numbers of the, the page numbers of the book that apply to what you are studying. When you put in the city, if the city is not a well-known city, you put the city and the state. If it is a well-known city like Chicago or New York or London, you just put in the city. Put in the publishing name, the publishing company name, and the year published. You tell if it's print, the, what the medium is, print, ebook, web, etc. And then you click Make Citation. Here's our citation. We highlight it. Control, Control C to copy. Go to your citation page. Control V to paste. And we have a beautifully cited page. When you've added all your citations to your work cited page, or if the author's sure name is not available, you would choose just the first word in the citation. I need to move this up be, to put it in alphabetical order. So I highlight Control X to cut that. I put my cursor where it should be. Control V to paste. And now I have this in alphabetical order. There's a notebook beside each computer in the library, like this one that has more information about research. Take a look at it or ask your librarian or your teacher for more information.